Hey guys, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to I Dream of Wigs. I'm Missy with TL Wigs and today I'm gonna to be showing you, actually we're gonna be doing an unboxing here of one that used to be, it's not this one on my head, used to be my very favorite when it first came out. This is Maya by John Renault, and this is in my favorite color even, the Shaded Sun, which is 27T613S8. So if you'd like to stick around and see this little beauty out of the box and what I can do with it, then just stick around and we will get all into this. So can anyone uh, guess this beauty that is on my head right now? This is another uh, one of my favorites, and this is also John Renault's. This is Mariah. And this is in the same color as um, Maya that I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing. So it's obvious that Shaded Sun is my favorite uh, color with John Renault. I have many John Renault boxes over here and they all say Shaded Sun. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. So let's get into it because I'm really super excited. And I'm on vacation mode again, so I have a lot to do, and let's just go with it. So, all right, this one that I'm going to be reviewing for you today, Maya, was actually sent to me by Tracy from TL Wigs, so that I could bring you this review today. Now, I used to have a lot of Mayas. You know how whenever something first comes out, you get so excited about it, you want it in all of the colors? Well, that's pretty much what I did. And I wore her until I just got tired of wearing it. Um, just, you know, wanted a different style. So I, it's been a minute since I've had one. So I'm going to drop the website in the description box down below. All you have to do is click on that and it will take you right on over to our website. And there will also be a direct product link for Maya. You can click on that and it'll take you to Maya and you can check out all the different colors. There are tons. That's the great thing about John Renault. They offer a ton of different color options. So you are going to find on the website that everything is always 30 to 40% off and that does exclude Raquel Welch and Gabor. Those two brands are only discounted on the weekends. Getting hot. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Middle age really sucks. I'm just going to say that. It really sucks. Okay, so uh, those links will be in the description box as well. You're going to find at checkout that there are several different payment options, including shop pay, which allows you to buy it now and then pay it over um, interest free installments, however, you choose to do that. And then we are also uh, active on Facebook and our Facebook group, which is TL Wigs Support, Inspiration, and Education. That link is going to be in the description as well. We would love to see you over there. This is where all of the fun happens, all of the giveaways. And if you're not a member, you're just going to have to get over there and check it out. Let me grab a sip of my water. Okay. But yes, the uh, Facebook group, you're going to meet a lot of friends and it's just a great place to be. We, we have a lot of fun over there. So we look forward to seeing you. And if you have just stumbled upon my uh, video today for the first time, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you can always see whenever I'm going to be bringing you a new review. I'm going to be doing some new things uh, coming up here. I have to talk to Tracy with TL Wigs and see, uh, you know, what we can do here. But I want to kind of do some giveaways here on my uh, YouTube channel, maybe uh, once a month or once every couple of months. 
gift cards, you know, things like that. So please subscribe to my channel so that you can be a part of that. All right, so like I said, Maya, and all I have done is open the box and take the tag off of her. I do believe I took the tag off. I have not given her a shake, have not uh, touched the zigzag part, anything like that. So you're going to be seeing this brand new out of the box, not even on my head. This one has not even been on my head. So I guess before I put her on, we will go over, look at that. Yes, Maya has some curls and they go clear up to the crown. So that's what I really, really love about her. So we'll go over the specs of this first. This is from the uh, Smart Lace Collection. And this is not a heat friendly style, but we do have a full single mono top. So you can part this either direction, however you want within this area right here. And it's great because um, when you get it on, you can see down through there sometimes the illusion of scalp. So this is an extended lace that runs clear a little bit past temple to temple, uh, starting at the ear tabs. So then we have the uh, bendable stays in the ear tabs that are felt covered. We have an extended nape, and I love that John Renault always does the Velcro closures. Now, this one has a lot of stretch. You can see that. And I think that being the Smart Lace collection, they do run a little bit larger. I don't want to say larger. This is average. This fits an average. So, I will show you that I have not done anything to the parting space here. And we will go over the specs whenever I get her on. Um, this color, Shaded Sun, this is a 27T613S8. It has become my favorite of all time. And it has these beautiful tipped ends that are pale blonde. The color itself is a medium red gold that is blended with light natural gold blonde. And then your rooting is a medium, almost like a golden brown rooting. It's done really, really nice. And I love this color because up front, it's not quite as harsh as the uh, shaded praline, some of the others. Like I said, I've had this in a whole lot of colors. So first thing I always do is give her a really good shake. She's got to wake up being in that box. We've got to wake her up, go in there and pick out, you know, some of that. And then I am going to do something with this zigzag parting. So I usually just start combing that back. Let's get her on. I can't stand. It. Now this does whenever I get it on, I'm going to show you um, the lace front and it's been this way with every Maya that I have had. Um, it is a little bit longer. You can see that. You can easily trim that up if you want. If it doesn't blend in well with your uh, forehead, you can always trim that. So let's get this on. I'm not going to make any adjustments at first to see how she feels. Excellent, excellent fit. I do feel that I could probably put the adjusters in a little bit for a more secure fit. So you can see right off of the bat 
that it naturally wants to part on the left side here. And up at the top, you see that it is wanting to be flat and then goes out into these curls. Now, having experience with Maya, this is why I wanted to do the unboxing. Having experience with Maya, I know and I've heard that that top and front piece right here, this front piece is seven and a half inches, that that is what gives everyone fits. Um, I, I don't want to say that it did me at first because it didn't. Um, I just kept working with it until I got my desired look. And you can get some lift there in the front if you want. But either your hands or product. If you all have been with me a while, you know that I uh, do mine usually every wig about the same. Okay, so while she's on, we'll finish the specs. The crown is nine inches. The sides are eight. The nape underneath here is six and a half. Here we go again. I did not do this. I should know by now what it is. Overall, it is 14 inches from the crown to the tips. Um, this weighs 3.8 ounces. All right, I'm going to get up here and see this lace front. It's laying down across of my forehead very nicely, and I'm glistening a little bit from being so hot. So you can see that it is done very nicely. You do not see... There might be a little bit of a seam there. And I had that with um, some other Mariah's or Maya's that I had had. So what I do with that is I will just use my uh, root powder and try and touch that up the best that I can. Yeah, right. There. This is always so hard for me to do on camera. All right, so I feel that she could use a little bit of a comb through. The fibers on this are very nice. They're very, very soft, typical, you know, of John Renault. Um, let's go ahead and do a spin all the way around so you can see this. Let me grab my mirror. So this is my left and the back. Look at those beautiful curls. Great movement. And then my right. Um, some styles that I think that this is similar to um, is Henry Margu's Lola. This is very, very similar, um, except Lola does not have a lace front. It's a basic cap. Here you've got, you know, all of the bells and whistles, not only a lace front, but you've got that full mono top that you can work and part however you want. <laughs> Excuse me. But she is, she's cute, just right out of the box. And if you want to try and work her without product, water here, even my bottle is not fancy. Just, you know, spray some water on it or on your hands as I do. Put it on this front that gives everybody problems. I also, in the past, have thought that this could kind of uh, be another dupe for Raquel Welch's editor's pick. It's, it's, it's similar. I've had both. But yeah, you can see up here that there's just, you know, no curl, really no volume. If you want that, you're going to have to do that yourself because this is how they come. 
Now, permatease-wise, up on the top in that part that I showed you, that is the uh, mono top, there's, there's no permatease there. But once you get past of that, you start feeling the permatease. There's a lot down at the nape to give it some fullness. Here at the sides, there is some. Throughout the back, there's not a whole lot. It's there, but it's not overly done to where it feels, you know, just pillowy. Let's uh, see what we can do with some quick styling. She does tuck behind the ear well because I know that. I've done that with her before. Let's see, my coverage up here is great. I've got it, I don't have it bent in yet, and it's right there at the top of my glasses. I just, I love the rooting on this one. It's so, so natural looking. So there's some tucks, and if you wanted to, you know, pull this up off of the face a little bit, since you've got that full mono top, and then leave some side tendrils down, you can easily do that. You can put a headband in here. No, I'm not going to do it, <laughs> but you can put that headband in there and it will look good if you are a headband type of person and you can fluff those up. I like it like this. That's probably how I will wear it. All right, so I'm going to uh, speed through some styling that I do here on the top and see how curly and big we can get this girl because she has a lot of potential if you like curls and you really don't have to do a whole lot with it. If you want some lift here, you can easily train that by wetting that down and, you know, clipping that back. Or you can use the heat of your hair dryer with your hand there in the front. That's what I typically do. And then whenever it is uh, drying, uh, use that cool shot on your hair dryer. And then you will get that to stay. And then maybe spray it with uh, some wig wax to keep it lifted there. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to do a little bit of styling. And like I said, I will speed up through that process so that this video isn't 30 minutes long. Okay. So thank you for joining me. If I forget to say that at the end, and if you could, like I said, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I would love it. And also please check out my good friend, Tanya at Tanya's Wig World. Her link is in the description box down below as well. She does some great videos. She's really sweet. You will love her. So outside and then some styling or some styling and then outside.